We sat down with former Laker point guard Jordan Farmar for our Legends feature uh, once before. Remember that? But since then, he's acquired his pilot's license. So what better reason to catch up with the two-time champion? Here's our Jamie Maggio now with more. Legends, sponsored by calljacob.com. About 12 years ago, there was an article in Bleacher Report that was referencing your hops, talking about your vertical leap, and said Jordan Farmer may as well have his pilot's license. Uh, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> so here we are, you know, 10, 12 years later, and you have your pilot's license. Tell me how this started. What inspired you to go out and do this? I got it as a gift. 10 years ago from Jill. She bought it for me like lesson, then I just pushed it back um, over and over summer after summer, thinking like I was just too busy and I just couldn't get around to it. And this summer I had enough. I was like, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. Um, if I don't make the time to do it, I'll never do it. And so I just went and said, hey, I'm ready for lessons. You get in the plane, well, or do you get in the plane on day one? You do. They, that's how they get you hooked. It's called your, like, <laughs> your intro ride, basically. And you, you get in the plane, and they let you basically take off. You're in the, the plane with an instructor, so they're there to supervise or whatever. But they're kind of walking you through step by step what, what's going on and what you're looking for. You learn a little bit on ground school first before you actually get in the plane about the aerodynamics of flight and how it all works and what we're trying to achieve and what to look out for. And then you go, and once you go, it's it's addicting. You get hooked, and then you say, okay, when's my next lesson? And then you're officially like a student pilot. You're flying a lot with an instructor, and you do all the maneuvers. They don't really touch the controls at all, but they're there as a, like a safety blanket, kind of. And then they say, okay, you're ready for your solo. I'm going to get out of the plane. And you're like, okay, well, now... Oh, they actually get out of the plane? Yeah, it's a solo. I, it's me. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I thought maybe they sit next to you and they just don't talk or touch anything, but they're out of oh, the that's, plane. That's, that's every day, right? Like when you're doing your lessons, they're in there with you and not touching anything. But you're flying okay. on your own for quite a bit. But uh, when you do your solo, you are solo in the plane by yourself. And that's the first time it's like, okay, well, there's no one but me now, but I'm ready. When you touch ground and you know this was a success, was there a sigh of relief or just a a moment of immense pride. What did that feel like? I actually felt a little better when I was on my own. Thank you. They don't touch anything when they're in the plane with you, but you still use them as a crutch, so to speak. Like you, you have this sense of security that they're there next to you. So when I was alone, I was a little even more so focused and more so determined to do things the right way and do all my checklists and my procedures and make sure that I was going to land safely. Uh, if one person's not going to mess it up, they're not going to be me. So. I was really, really focused in on just making sure I was safe, but I felt a lot more comfortable um, being alone for the first time. Were you a thrill seeker? Was this a, just a, a mental challenge, a physical challenge? What was it for you? Um, I really cherish freedom, and I think it was a freedom challenge of just being able to get up and go whenever you want. Call up a couple friends or family and just say, hey, you want to go on a golf trip today? We'll be back tonight, you know, kind of thing. Um, I'm a thrill seeker. I've been skydiving a few times. Doing a lot of the things that we weren't able to do as players, snowboarding, you know, jumping out of planes, flying planes, all that kind of stuff um, just excites me. But I just want to be able to do fun stuff and I feel that I'm very capable and I can learn anything I put my mind to and this was just another challenge on the list.